Hi, I'm Kara. I'm here with Gazelle Sports. I'm the Community Engagement Manager here. And I have my mom, Cheryl. She is a breast cancer survivor. And today we're going to go through the bra fit process with her. So mom, if you could tell us a little bit about some of the considerations when fitting someone who's had reconstructive surgery. Sure. Um, a couple of the things that I've experienced that have been kind of an issue for me is that it's not like fitting a typical person who comes in in that um, I've had reconstruction. My implants are um, silicone and so even though they look more natural, they don't feel as natural and they don't move as naturally as breast tissue would. And so when fitting a bra, especially something that's um, more of a sports fit, um, it's difficult to find things that don't compress too much um, because there's not much give with, <laughs> with those implants. Um, it's also an issue for me with scar tissue. Um, this is my second reconstruction that I've had and I have quite a buildup of scar tissue and that area can be very sensitive. Um, and so some bras with the banding, um, that's another issue for me as well. Okay. well great, thank you. So we will go ahead and get started with the fit and see what that process looks like and uh, take a look at a couple different bras that are maybe going to be a little bit easier to try on. I know that was another issue that you've had before too yeah. is pulling something over your head that that's not quite quite as easy? Range of motion can be restricted. Um, earlier on in the process, it's even more restricted. Later on, as you exercise and work through it, your range of motion gets better. But at the beginning of the process, that can be really difficult. And I found myself looking for only bras that were front clothes because that's all I could manage as far as my range of motion. Okay. And now are you able to wear more hook and eye closure in the back? Yes. Too? Yep. Okay. Yep. But it's been a process. Yeah. <laughs> it has. So we'll go ahead and start the fit process. So first we'll have you lift your arms up. All right. You can go ahead and set your arms down. So we're measuring about 31 and a half, which is a 36 band size. And then I'm going to just loosely lift this up here. All right, and that measures 36. So that gives us four and a half. So that puts you at about a C. So you would try a 36 C. Does that sound pretty close to what you typically wear? It's close. Okay. Yeah. I, at times I've gone to a 38 just because of the band yeah. comfort factor. With so. the scar tissue and yeah. things like that. Yep. Okay. All right. So we have a few different options here um, for bras based on our conversation that might be a little bit more comfortable for someone who has had reconstruction. The Any Day bra has these nice molded cups. Um, it does have the the U back as well, so that makes it a little bit easier to get on. And what did you like about the molded cups in particular? Um, I feel like because the implants can, I'll say, shift, or um, I think that, and also the structure that holds the implants in can can. Be weak sometimes and so a molded cup just makes me feel more secure. Okay. So I also picked out the the Maya. This does have an underwire. It has as well a little bit of molding to the cup and has the U-back hook and eye closure. It's a little bit more structured so a little bit for higher impact um, activity level and you are walking right now right so you know it's it's something that as you're as you're walking it's going to hold you a little bit more secure as well the 
underwire is a consideration too um, sometimes and for me particularly on one side the underwire tends to cut in and so I tend right now to look for non-underwire support so structured support without an underwire is hard to find at times yeah, yeah it is so the Fiona is a little bit more structured. It doesn't have the molded cups, but it doesn't have an underwire and is still a high impact, secure fit. Um, the nice thing about that as well is that it's also a little bit more customizable for you know, implants that might be shifting or moving. It doesn't have that underwire, so it does you know, fit a little bit differently than that as well. And then the last one that I grabbed was the Love the, color. <laughs> <laughs> the uplift cross back. So this does have a cross back. It's a little bit more flexible, which makes it a little bit easier to pull over your head um, than some of the other more structured options. It does have the, the molded cup here as well, but also a great option for you know medium impact exercise, things like that as well. The nice thing is this one um, is very stylish. I find that a lot of the bras that I'm able to wear for fitness bras, even normal bras, are a little utilitarian. So <laughs> this, one's, this one's fun. <laughs> that bright, fun raspberry color, yeah. right? <laughs> Perfect. So we're going to go try some options on. I hope that you all come in, see us. We can help you get fit in the right bra for your body. So hopefully we'll see you soon.